the same thing, we've got a CSS validator. And this does the same thing for the CSS. Um, okay. And the CSS one is actually usually much clearer. It's in line five. It's in the body selector font size, unknown dimension, 10p. So what's the problem there? Yeah, it's got to be 10px or 10pt if you wanted it to be in points. Now, here's another one that's a little bit different. This is a parse error. Anybody remember what, what parse errors are? What was that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's usually a punctuation thing. Um, the thing about the, the CSS validator that's a little bit weird is what it shows you down here is the valid CSS. It doesn't show you the stuff where the error is. Now, why they chose to do it that way, I have no clue. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so they're showing you the good stuff, but since you want to find out where the problem is, it, it's not showing here. Um, so you can either open up your CSS in Text Wrangler, or lo and behold, the web developer toolbar has this tab called CSS. And if you notice what we can do, we can actually go down here and see the CSS and actually even edit it. So we can find that error and fix it right here. So it's in line 71, which is going to be down here. Font size. So somewhere we've got a font size. Let's see if I can make that any bigger. Give me a lot of trouble. Um, somewhere in here we've got a font size that's got a problem. size. So it's going to be a missing colon, I'm guessing, or a missing semicolon at the end of a line. Font size small. I thank you. No, I'm, yeah, I'm on the, right, duh. <laughs> Holy cow. Let's edit Kristen's this time. Okay, so there we're on her page. Edit CSS. All right, now. 71 font size, font size, font size. Now, okay, anybody see it? Right there. L I first missing colon. And we can put the colon in and uh, actually save it. Now well, we'd have to save it as a new document. But what we could do is, for example, if um, if you want to try something, and for example, you wanted to see what happens if we change that font size to 100 here, um, you can see it. So this lets you actually try and fix your CSS and see the results immediately. So this is really helpful. Um, so as I said, that's under what, we're in the web developer toolbar, CSS, edit CSS. So from here on out, what I would ask you to do, because this is what I do when I grade the projects, is run the HTML validator and the CSS validator and try and fix all of the errors. Uh, sometimes easier said than done. Uh, what you'll find is that um, some of these you're going to spot real easily and you'll fix them real easy. Others it's going to be the kind of tear your hair out sort of thing back and forth. But, you know, sad to say that's what we all end up going through kind of getting started with this. So the goal would be what happens is if you get it right when you do the validator, let me see. Anyway, when you're in the validator, you get the, um, when, it c when the answer comes up, this will be a green column that will say congratulations. So it's really great because you want to see that green column. You don't want to see that red column. And in fact, last semester, there was one of the students, uh, she said when that came up, she did the, uh, she did, what was it, the, the 
validator dance of success or something every time it happens. So, it's, so it really is neat. I mean, you know, especially if you've been struggling with it for a while, when that thing finally turns green, you think, hallelujah.